Hi guys, it's Josie here. I have a new microphone today, so hopefully my audio might be a bit better in this video. I was recently gifted these pastels by a family member and I have never really tried pastel painting before. I feel like when I was a kid, maybe I used pastels, but maybe my memory is just a bit confusing actually, it was just crayon. But anyway, I was given this box of pastels, so I thought I would give a pastel painting a go. I don't actually know if it's a pastel painting or a pastel drawing because it's kind of somewhere in the middle. You're not using paint, but it's definitely more of a painting technique than a drawing technique. I'm not really sure. I'm very excited to give this a go. The reference image I've decided to use for this one comes from my mum actually. She posted it on our family WhatsApp group. I really like the different values in this photo and I just think it will be a nice one to try with pastels because it is quite a simple scene and I know that it's very hard to get a lot of detail with pastels so I think it would be a good one to give a go to start off with. As you can probably tell, this isn't going to be a tutorial because this is my first time trying pastels. But I just thought it would be a good video if you've been wanting to try out pastels just to kind of see some of the thoughts that I have from the first time trying it. Anyway, let's just get into the painting and see what I come up with. Hello and welcome to the voiceover section. So I started off with this watercolour paper. It has a pretty rough surface, but you don't necessarily have to use watercolour paper, but I just had it lying around. So I started off, I, I wasn't sure whether to start just drawing with pastels, but I decided to just go in with a very simple initial pencil drawing. Then I just went in with some sky to start off with. I always start off with skies when I do landscapes for some reason. Um, I didn't really know what I was doing when I first started. I was just you know, testing things out, seeing how the pastel works, seeing what sides I can use. Then I used a paper towel to blend. I'm not sure if that is really the best thing to use to blend. I've since looked up and apparently using fabric and things like that can be better. But as I say, this is not going to be a tutorial because I was not really sure what I was doing, but I definitely was having a lot of fun. So one of the weird things about pastels that I'm not used to because I'm used to using paint where I can blend the colours together. So I think here I was trying to do blue and yellow to make green and then obviously I realised that that's not really how it works. So then I went in with some green pastel as well. I did, I think, eventually figure out that I could use a bit of mixing, but it doesn't obviously work in the same way as an actual painting. Then I wanted to get a sense of reflected light, so I used the same blue that I used in the sky to be in the river. I tried to stay away from just using black and grey straight away because I like to use colours in my shadows because I think it just makes it look a lot more lively. Then I eventually realised I probably did need to go in with a bit of a darker shade for the really shadowy areas. And it's always worth remembering when you're working from a photo, a photo never really can show you the lightest lights and the shadow areas properly as your eye would see them. So a lot of the time in photos, shadows are shadows appear a lot less detailed and a lot less interesting than they actually do in real life. So I always try and remember that when I'm painting from a photo. Then a lot of the time when I'm doing a landscape that has a lot of green in, I always like to contrast that with some red. Even if there wasn't necessarily too much red in the original photo, I just think it adds a really nice contrast. And then yeah, I think the yellow and the light green were quite important in this to get that sense of sun shining down and to contrast with the more shaded areas. Then this was quite a fun section. I was trying to figure out how to get a sense of a reflection and I realized that if you put a darker color down of the reflection and then go over it with white, it makes this really nice effect. So I enjoyed that, that was fun to discover that. Then I was getting a lot of dust everywhere. I think I've realized now that I probably should have painted this on an angle and then the dust would have just sort of ro rolled off the painting. But I just had to keep tapping it on my table and yeah, my table got really dirty by the end. That's another thing with pastels. 
compared to something like watercolour paint, pastels are pretty messy, I was getting it all over my hands and it felt like I was breathing in a lot of the dust as well so I definitely think I need to take a few more precautions next time just to make sure that I'm not breathing in a load of pastel dust because I don't think that's very healthy. Um, it said on the box that they were non-toxic but because they're sort of vintage pastels I'm still slightly concerned but there's definitely something to bear in mind. And this is the final result. Hopefully that was helpful. It was a lot of fun trying out a new medium. And yeah, I would definitely encourage you to pick up a pack of pastels or if you've got some sitting in your cupboard, give them a go because they are a lot of fun. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.